Hi everybody, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Small Shopping Saturday. It's where I um, scour the internet, uh, Etsy, or sometimes, you know, I look everywhere actually, um, for small businesses, and I try to help support them and bring awareness to them. Anything that would have to do with the iron or crochet or, uh, you know, fiber arts in general. So this is my third episode, and I'm super excited about this one. Um, and these came from an Etsy seller who makes homemade crochet hooks. Now these, um, I'll put a link to their Etsy shop below. It's called Nelson Wood on their, um, that's their Etsy shop name. And they are a five star seller in Texas. And... It's, I'll read about a shop. It says, I'm a full-time wood turner, woodworker, and I have a great love of wood and would like to share my passion with the world. I've turned over 7,000 bowls and over 10,000 crochet hooks that have been sold all over the world. I have 160 different kinds of wood available. So if you can't find it in my store and it's made from wood, send me an email and I'll see what I can do. His name is Brian. So, Brian, let's see what you made. Now, these were custom made. Um, he has pictures and then of what he has to offer. And then, like, um, you order it and then you have to wait. I think it said seven to ten days. And then, it, you know, it, then he would ship it. So, uh, I purchased, it took, counting shipping, it took 12 days um, to get here. I think that's within his time frame. He did a pretty good job, and I did order four hooks from him. Now, some of these hooks are not cheap um, because they are handmade. Um, I'm just gonna open them and show you. So, I, you know, I'm very excited to see he shipped a uh, priority. Super excited. Now, um, obviously, he ships. He says uh, that uh, he shipped them all over the world. So, obviously. He ships everywhere so let's see so it came in the bag and then it came in the box extra protection that's always nice <laughs> these are going to be so beautiful I know it I know it I was so excited to get these it's the weight that kills you it's the weight but you have to wait for something custom there we go oh okay Oh, he puts them in a little vial. Wait till you see these hooks, guys. Wait till you... Ooh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Um, so here's his uh, card. Thank you for your purchase. Each piece is handcrafted by me, Brian. Contact me if you have any questions or concerns. All right, I'm excited. Okay, let's see, I only got four because like I said, um, some of them are a little bit pricey. So let's go ahead and start, start off. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they came in these vials here, well protected, nice, nice. Let's start with this one, shall we? I'm so excited. So excited. Okay. And it's even got foam at the bottom to protect the end. Okay. This one is it says handcrafted by Brian Tyler Nelson. It's made out of purple heart. I believe that is the wood. He had a whole bunch of different wood choices that you could choose from. Oh my gosh, he's got bird feeders on here now. He didn't have these the last time I looked. He's got other things besides crochet hooks, but anyways, I went with the crochet hooks. So this is what it looks like. He hand makes these himself. <clears throat> he has all different kinds of woods and you'll be able to see, I bought a couple different ones that were made out of wood and other things as well. And um, you can pick what size of hook you want. I did of course pick my favorite is a J and you can make it where he can stamp the letter on there if you want him to or he'll leave it off I had him put the letter on there um, it didn't cost any extra for him to do that so that is beautiful 
Now, I don't know if you know anything about me at all. Well, some of you will, but I cannot use hooks like this. I have used every hook under the sun. I have to use a straight aluminum hook. I cannot use anything else at all. But I do collect crochet hooks. So these will look mighty fine in my collection. I do have quite a few handmade ones, very old ones, and these will go well. I will keep this, but I can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> but I did want to bring light to his store. Um, so this purple one was, it's called Hand Turned Purple Heart Wooden Crochet Hook, crafted in the U.S. by a Texan artist, Brian. $49.99 for this one right here. Isn't that beautiful? It smells like wood. Like I said, I will be keeping these even though I can't use, I mean, you, I've tried every hook on, on that there is. Every hook, every hook. I can't use anything. I'm stuck in my waist. I've used this since I was 10 years old and I will never ever change. I've tried. My hand will not allow it. It only wants, the hand wants what the hand wants. And it wants a straight aluminum crochet hook. <laughs> but these are, I could never crochet with this. I couldn't. But it's so beautiful. It's nice. Isn't that nicely crafted? Look at the wood on that. Can you see it? My lights are shining on it a bit, but remember, you don't have to have the size stamped. That was an option, and it was not extra to have that done. I don't, I just did it in case someone in here, you know, in case someone inherits my crochet hooks one day, they might want to know what size it is. Maybe they don't know my favorite size. And the hook is, you can see, uh, in line, which again is something I can't use. But it's still beautiful. Good thing I'm a collector of many things. This being one of them. Okay. Now I have another one of um, his exotic woods. Which was $49.99 as well. This is exotic. Ooh, I don't know if I can pronounce that one. Bocote. Bo, bo Bocote. Wood. B-O-C-O-T-E. Handcrafted in the USA. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Here's the wood name for those of you. I can't pronounce anything. B-O-C-O-T-E. Did I say that right? B-O-C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. B-O-C-O-T-E. Beautiful. So again, this is what this looks like. I did have him stamp the J on that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And it is in line. And this was $49.99. Um, nine. Not all his exotic woods were that much. He had some that were more. Like snake wood was so beautiful. But it was a very expensive wood um, to use. So, but that is gorgeous. Look at the wood grade in that. You know, they'll all probably be a little bit different. Because wood is wood. But it was like wood. That's a beautiful hook. Nice job on that. Nice job. Wow couldn't use it for the life of me but it's so beautiful all right I like the vials that you put them in too I think I'm going to put in the back of the vials because since I won't be using it and I'm only going to I'm going to I have another room that I keep crochet hooks in that I don't use and that sounds like a good place for them in the other room you can I, I I bought these knowing that I wouldn't be able to use them but I still wanted to highlight a small business on Etsy so um that's why I did it. Okay, now these are partially made of wood and partially not made of wood. So let's start with this one. This is called Pink Star Flower Hand Turned Crochet Hook Made in the USA by in Texas. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. Wow, look at that. Look at that, look at that. It's got flowers inside, real flowers inside. Look at that wood. And you could choose the wood that you wanted on the end of this. Um, just one second and I'll bring it up. And they, he had ones with different colors of flowers in them. Here's the one I got. So um, this is also a J hook, which I ordered um, the J. Um, so it says these are 
Its hand-turned crochet hook is made from pink star flowers cast in clear aluminite with your choice of exotic wood in. Um, it says it's, you know, it's shaped to relieve stress and everything. Not, you know, that's not for me, but it's still beautiful. So I chose, you could get the, whatever kind of wood you wanted. So yeah, these are real flowers in here. That's so pretty. It even has a picture of the flowers he puts in it. That is a pretty, pretty crochet hook. Look at the nice job he did on that. Uh, I'll tell you the, the wood that I chose for mine because he has different ones you can choose. Um, and I want to make sure that I get it right and tell you correctly. Um, I chose the purple heart wood. So I chose the same wood that this one was made out of. I didn't... Uh, yeah, I thought that looked pretty good with it, but he had a one, two, three, four different colors of wood that you could put at each end, and he has ones, like I said, with other different colors of different flowers in them. I couldn't hardly choose. There was a really pretty yellow one I wanted, but uh, this pink just got me. That is beautiful. Very well made. That is great fine craftsmanship on that. There's no even distinguishing line in between the wood and the flower, really. It's like, it's like one. It come together as one. You know what I mean? That is a beautiful, beautiful hook. It's a shame I can't use them. But it's not a shame that I, that I collect. And again, it is the inline style. Again, that's another reason I wouldn't be able to use it. That is beautiful. Okay, you can't, I can't even really feel where the wood is barely barely it's like they just come in as one that is nice nice job now this one was a little bit more money this was a hundred and nine dollars for this hook now um i don't know what furls crochet hooks look, are like i don't even know with i don't know anything really about furls I've, I've had furls and i tried them and um i don't like i just don't like those type of hooks these type of, i i love the look of them i have furls here that i collect but I just can't use them. I, I mean, that's just, I just can't use them. But, um, I don't know. I know some of Furl's hooks, uh, cost that much. But do they have any of this pretty? Really? $109 for that one. Worth every penny, if you ask me. I'd pay it again and get his yellow one. That is gorgeous. Mm. That's a pretty hook. Gently back in here. And made in the USA. Okay, I got one more to show you. Because, like I said, I could only buy a few. Because of the price-wise on them. But, that's okay. I still might go back and get that yellow one whenever I get a little bit more money on that. Let's see here. Now, this one is Mother of Pearl. I love Mother of Pearl. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm going to have to pick a favorite. And it is going to be hard. This is, yep, the Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl with the, with Gavin, Ebony, Handle. So this is Ebony on the end, which I chose. You could, I'm pretty sure you could choose, if I remember right, what color handle you wanted. Look at that Mother of Pearl. Oh, wow. Oh, I love Mother of Pearl. Gosh, it's so pretty. That is beautiful hook. This is a J as well. It is not marked. I didn't. Um, and it's in line. They're all in line. I take it. Wow. Look at that one. You can't tell me that's not a beautiful hook. Yeah, that is a beautiful, beautiful hook. He did have some that were made to or that were already made up. Um, but I like the ones. Again, you can barely tell where the mother of pearl in the wood starts and finishes. It's almost a seamless seamless on that that is a beautiful beautiful hook okay favorite it has to be the mother of pearl for me oh this is also this was also a hundred nine dollars for this hook here you know i don't think he's out of line asking that much money for a hook like this um it's made in the usa it's supporting a small business and man his craftsmanship is on the mark it's out of this world that is a beautiful beautiful hook um 
I will definitely be giving him five stars and I will probably buy a couple more off of him to add to my collection. No doubt about that because he did have a few more that I liked, especially that yellow flowered one. Oh, that is gorgeous. Um, very nicely done. I love supporting small businesses. Their craftsmanship on small businesses most of the time is so remarkable. Um, it's going to be like I said, it's hard for me to choose a favorite, but it's got to be the Mother of Pearl. And then it would be a close second with this one. These are outstanding. But these other ones are outstanding as well. Made from the different kinds of... He has so many different kinds of woods that you can choose from. And like he said, if there's a wood you're wanting and he doesn't have it in a shop, to email him and he'll see what he can do. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Highly recommended by me. I mean, I'm not dogging for real hooks. I'm not, because I own some. But I'm going to have to say these are a notch up from furls. I mean, I'm just going to have to I'm gonna go out there and say that. Um, <sighs> Alright, so I did quick, a quick look at furls website, because it's uh, um, one that I can think of that would have similar crochet hooks. I do not know where they're made. They could very well be made in the U.S. I have no idea. That really doesn't bother me. I know that some people like to know that. But I did check out their hooks. And then they do make them out of the, some of them out of the same wood as um, um, the Etsy seller does. And they are actually more money. These were $59 um, on Etsy. And on Furls, they are actually $84 for the same type of wood. The same goes for the Purple Heart. So um, they are a little bit more money on Furls. The shape is a bit different. Not much. This one has an extra bing right here that Furls does. So that could be a comfort, that could just be a preference, you know, a comfort level for someone, whether they prefer Furls or not. Um, but I absolutely adore Nelson Wood hooks. I am going to go back and I'm going to have to order one of those birdhouses for my other house because it's made out of wood and my house is a log cabin. And I have to get the yellow hook, the one like this, but it has yellow flowers in it. And I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a wood that is um, a light wood on on top of it, and it's gonna look so beautiful. The amount of hooks that he has are is remarkable. They are all so all so beautiful. I highly recommend him. The craftsmanship is wonderful. He did an excellent job. And again, I can tell that he takes pride in his work just by the way he talks. You know, um, on his listing, you know. He wants you to be happy. If you have any problems, you let him know, and he's gonna fix it. Um, and he takes, you know, he takes pride in what he does. And I would too if I could make this. I, would, I wish I could uh, turn a hook like this. That is gorgeous, gorgeous hook. My favorite. It's mine. I'll never use it, but it's gonna go in my hook collection, and I'll keep it. Mm. All right, guys. If you, I know they're expensive. I do know they're expensive. But if you ever do get, if you're ever wanting to try one on a hook like this, maybe try him. He's a small business. Um, he turns some mighty fine hooks. He has some excellent, excellent choices of hooks. Very, very beautiful hooks. There's not one that I did not like. Um, I'm going to give him five stars on everything. Everything came in the time frame that he said. He turned my hooks. Um, everything looks exactly like it's supposed to, actually better than what it did in the picture. Everything is just as I ordered. And I had no customer services now because there was none needed. But I am thinking that if I did, it would be great. He's, I mean, just the way, like I said, the way he talks, it's like he wants to make you happy. And it's, yes, I'm definitely going to be a repeat customer of his. Um, I might have to shout my yarn budget for the month of March and my hook budget, uh, but hey, I might build a dip into April's because I have to get a couple more things from him. So thanks everybody for watching, but like I said, if you are in the market for one of these type of hooks, um, I did say that these were a little cheaper than furls. I don't know, you know, the beautiful, they are beautiful. I wish that I could use them, but I can't for two reasons. Like I said, I can't use anything bumpy and I can't use an inline hook like that but otherwise that is a remarkable piece of uh, made in the U.S. hand handmade in the U.S. craftsmanship that's beautiful I love it thanks everybody for watching check 
him out. Please, please do. Like, even if you can't uh, afford it, go check out and see what he has. Favorite his shop. You know, that helps him out, too. Um, anything like that. Favorite some items you like and all that stuff helps him. I'd like to, to really help him. Um, he probably doesn't need my help. It seems like he's doing pretty good. I don't know. And he's still a small business, though. You know, it shows he only has uh, 4,500 for 4,400 sales on Etsy. I don't know if he sells somewhere else. He very much well could. I have no idea, but Etsy, uh, gosh, he's got some pretty hooks. I'm going to go, or I can go on about these beautiful hooks all day. And it, like I said, these were $49.99, the straight wood ones. It really depended on the wood. He had some wood that was more expensive, uh, like snake wood, I remember, was the most expensive wood he had, but it was really beautiful. And these were $109. Um, a piece, the mother of pearl, and the ones with flowers in them. He had other hooks, um, also as well. I could only get these four at the time since they were a little bit pricey. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And like I said, please check out his shop. Even if you can't buy, show him some love and give maybe favor his shop. I know that helps him and all kinds of stuff. Thank you guys. I'm so, I'm very, 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 this might be, this is, okay. This is one of my favorite. I can't pick a favorite small shop on Saturday. This is this is gonna go on top though. I love handmade wood items, and then being crochet is hooks is even better. So I'm gonna go. All right, I love you all. Uh, I'll see you on my next video, and I'll see you next Saturday for small shop on Saturday. I got someone lined up. Take care. Bye, guys.